Matt Joyce from Elliott Matsura, the Zeiss Service Group. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to take care of your Duramax machine. Now these are shop floor machines, so there isn't a whole lot you really need to do. But there's a couple of little tricks that make the machine overall in a better condition. The first thing you can do, people ask, is how to clean the table. Now Zeiss has this product called Revolta, and it's just something similar to WD-40 or Stared M1. And it's just an aerosol spray, you can just spray on the table. And I like to take a little scotch brake pad, nothing fancy, and just if you get any surface rust or marks from a marker from a fixture or something like that, just this takes it off and it kind of lubricates the table so that it still looks like it did when it was new and your machine's in good condition. And just wipe it off with a Scott towel. You can see there's a lot of black kind of stuff even coming off our showroom table. Once that's on the table, it looks nice and it's it's almost like a new machine. So the next thing that I like to show you about is the filters on these machines. Now there are filters on a couple of different locations. The main one is at the back of the machine on the C99 controller. And this one is an important one because this is the air intake for the airflow through the controller. So to exchange it, just pop the cover off and take your filter out. And actually our filter is quite dirty. So this would be a filter that would need to be changed. And depending on the environment of your machine, you may have to do this monthly, weekly, every six months. It's just something that you need to keep an eye on. So you can buy filter material from basically anywhere, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, any of these places, and just cut it to size to fit it. And then just pop it back in with the cover, like so. Now there are filters similar to that on the shop floor base. If you have a shop floor base, there are two filters uh, here on the side. And there are also two more filters on the back for the shop floor base. And those should be checked at the same kind of interval to make sure that they're clean because your Calypso PC needs to be running cool as well. So those are the exact same size? Same and size, same everything, yep. Okay. Same kind of concept, the cover just popped off. And can I just airbrush that off and stick it back in? Right. If they're not contaminated with oil, then you can just take an air gun and blow them out. And just you should kind of be able to see through them. If they look really clogged up, then your best is to toss them out and replace them. The next thing I would like to talk about is for the Duramax machine, say you move it around before it's home and you over travel. How to recover from an over travel? It can be a little bit confusing because well, all the way up in the set on a Duramax, the probe has basically disappeared. Now, as you can see, my drives are turned off. I can't move the machine at all. And I won't be able to press the drive button to turn it back on. But if they're off and you can't get the drives back on, the easiest thing to do for the Duramaxes is to grab the Z-axis cable carrier harness and just pull down with your hand. It shouldn't take a lot of force and that's all there is for that. And that, kind of, and that exposes the probe head again. Yeah, and as long as you come off of the top by an inch or so, you'll be fine. Now for the X and the Y, you need to be a little bit more careful. For the X, don't push out here on the machine. Try and push more towards the, the back of the machine in this area because the cantilever machine and the mounts are here and you could twist the machine if you push. So again, just something similar, push like this. And whenever we do that, we have to then rehome the machine? You'll have to rehome the machine, correct. Okay. And then for the Y axis, the same kind of concept. Push the lower half of the cover, don't try and push up here. So we just push like that. Okay. It's a little bit stiffer to move. So it's ever stuck on the guideways or on the limit switches, that's what we do. Right, exactly. And that's a common question we get because the probe has disappeared and people don't see it so they can't figure out how to get it off. Not a big problem, but it's good to know. The next thing we need to talk about is on the Duramax machines, because they're on the shop floor in a lot of cases, the scales need to be cleaned occasionally. And the common issue is the Y-axis scale. So to clean the Y-axis scale, they have the bellows on the y-axis, they're just velcroed on. So you can just peel the velcro off, and then that exposes the scale. So to clean them, you need to take some alcohol on a cloth, and use 99% alcohol, because the 70% alcohol will leave a residue and a film. And just put some on a cloth, and then wipe the scale along its length. Now on some machines, the scale won't be vertical like this, it'll be horizontal. So it's the same exact principle. So let's just change this around because this hopefully helps the contamination issues. So no isopropyl alcohol, that's isopropyl it. Isopropyl alcohol or methyl hydrate or 
something like this. Don't use acetone or anything like this. Some of them, that might be a little bit too harsh. Okay. And you don't have to do it twice. You have to move it forward and take the bellow off the back to do the same thing. Yeah, let's see. Let's do that. Sure. And that's it. Now, don't, if you see any sort of grease on the guideways, this is normal. Please don't wipe it off. Um, it needs to stay on there for lubrication in the machine. Like, okay, so grease. So like that stuff there, that would be fine. I wouldn't, you don't need to clean that off at all. Okay. Did, is there ever time where they, we need to put grease on the guideways? No, that's something that a service technician will do during a PM. Okay. So that's actually a good opportunity to talk about what's the difference between a PM and a basic calibration. The basic calibration is just where we run the gauge that we had shown earlier. Um, and there's no cleaning, there's no maintenance. It's just the gauges and we'll make the CAA correction as necessary. Now the maintenance on a Duramax, we take all the covers off and clean and regrease the guideways, the spindles, uh, tune the drives, clean the scales, adjust the reader heads, all the stuff to make sure the machine is running 100% like it did when it left the factory. And then do the calibration as well. I think that's all there is to do for a Duramax for cleaning. Is there anything about cleaning the sheet metal covers or the sure. covers? To clean the, the covers, it, any sort of simple plain degreaser works. We generally use something like Nature Clean because it's not a harsh chemical. Um, simple green or anything like that's fine as well. Don't use alcohol in the covers because if you feel them, they're kind of textured and it just makes them, it just grinds the dirt into them and they don't look very nice after and they're really difficult to clean. So any sort of simple degreaser is perfectly fine. And again, it's got towels or something like that. Okay. Works well. That's about all there is for a Duramax maintenance. There isn't a whole lot because they are shop floor machines and they're designed to be Oh, production.